Hi and welcome to this quick start guide for pastiche number two. I'm Val from Motion Boutique and we are going to talk about stippling, apply color and loop. So here's my source and as you can see it's black and white images and I have also an alpha channel and this alpha channel is coming from the luminance of my image and as you can see I have used a set mate effect and I also blurred the image a little bit. So now let's set the animation. So now to drive the animation of pastiche, I'm going to set layer markers depending of um, the timing of my images. So now let's create my objects that are going to be animated. I'm going to use shape layers and it's important to, to center the anchor point based on the layer content. So now I'm going to duplicate my, uh, my objects and for this I'm going to use our mobile utils tool. We are going to use the multi-duplicate tool that is really useful when using pastiche and when you have to duplicate layers hundreds of times. You can also just copy paste multiple times your objects to get 900 copies of them. So um, now let's apply pastiche to my source. So now let's hit create without changing anything. And let's see the results. Going to hide my source. Now let's change the position to stippling alpha. And as you can see, there's a little difference. So now let's change the scale and set it from alpha. And you've got something that looks correct. Let's add some precision. And as you can see, it's much longer, but it's more precise. Let's change the scale a little bit. Let's set the minimum size to one and the max to 30. It won't change much, but if you uncheck prevent overlap, you'll see that you get a really interesting results. And we're going to apply the colors of our source to our shape object. So you can use the field color or the stroke color. And here we are going to use the field color. So let's set it to source color, hit create. It's going to take a little time because there is a lot of objects, but we are going to have a very interesting results. And here it is. Okay, so let's apply this to my other portrait. Let's move my CTI to the next marker and hit create. And after some times, I will get this new collage. Okay, so now let's animate this. Let's transform the first portrait to the second one. Let's first set the frame surrounder from layer markers, the temporal interpolation to is in and out, and let's add some offset and let's set this to 20. And I want my objects to move first from left to right. Let's hit create. And you've got this nice, animation between my two collages. So what about creating a loop between those two collages? So let's add more markers. So I'm going a third one, 20 frames after the second one. And the fourth one will be two seconds after the third one. So now let's set the animation for those markers. So we are going to animate the position, the scale, the fill color, and the offset method. So for the first one, it's set. For the second one, I don't want anything to change. And the third one, I want to use the previous value so my objects will remain still. But I want my offset method to change from right to left. And for my last marker, I want to use the first value of my animation so I it will create a perfect loop. So let's set this to uh, position, scale, and fill color. I think we are all set. Mm, let's hit create. Yep, 
Et voilà. So in this tutorial, we have learned how to use the stipping feature, how to apply um, the colors of my source to my objects, and also how to create a loop. Thanks for watching.